Hello Internet people! In this video, I'll show you how to anonymize IP in Google Analytics. We will do it directly in the script in HTML. If you want to do it in Google Tag Manager, then click on the video that will appear in your screen's top right corner now. We will cover both GA.js and GTAG.js. On top of that, I'll show you how to test IP anonymization and how to update your filters to exclude your internal traffic after the anonymization. And then your users will be like this. Tip sweat punch. All right, before we start, I just want to mention that when you follow this video, your users' IPs will go from something like this to this in Google Analytics. So the last three digits turn into a zero. This means that you won't be able to see which part of the city your visitors come from. But other than that, everything else works the same. So you can see the city, the country level, that's fine. You just can't see the specifics inside of a city. Also, this will have an impact on your filters that exclude your internal traffic, but I'll show you how to update that too. So there's two different scripts that you could have, GA.js and GTAG.js. And you can easily see which one you have by checking the name of the function. So here is the GA. Notice the GA in front here. And here is GTAG. Again, GTAG is just here in front. The GTAG is more modern version of the same script. I'll show you first how to update GA and then how to do it in GTAG. Enough talk. So let me quickly show you how to do it in the script itself. So for example, if you've installed the Google Analytics tag just by copying the script from Google Analytics, you need to head to the HTML where you installed it. Usually it's in the head section. So somewhere between this head tag and this closing head tag. And I have it here. So all you need to do is come here and after you have GA create, after that, you need to place this tag. I'll leave this one in the description so you don't need to worry about it. But basically, it just says set the GA tag anonymize IP to true. Now, you probably don't have some of these. Uh, I'm actually using GTM and I'm just showing you how to do it in the code itself. But this is all you need to do. Just make sure that this set GA is after the create GA and you should be okay. And then don't forget to save your changes. No problemo. All right, if you're using the gtag.js, which is the more modern version of Google Analytics tag, then you need to again head to wherever that script is. And you can see you have gtag, and you have this gtag config, and then you have your UA code. This is the tracking ID of Google Analytics. All you do is go behind the tracking ID, hit the comma, and add anonymize IP is set to true. Make sure it's between this bracket and this comma. And then obviously save the changes. This way it will tell Google Analytics to anonymize, anonymize the IP address. So you can go back to asking your visitors questions like, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Next, let's test if our implementation works. Just go to your website and simply right click anywhere and then select inspect element. This will work in Chrome and Firefox and Safari as well. And then go to this network tab, refresh the page. And you'll see a lot of things loading on your site. And here you have this filter field and just type in collect. Now here, you can see that we're sending, we're sending data to Google Analytics. So click on the first one and here you see AIP equals one. That means that the IP is anonymized. And this is your proof that actually Google Analytics won't get the full IP, but it will get the shortened version. Now this does mean if you're filtering out some traffic, for example, from your office or from your home, that you need to change your filters in Google Analytics. And so if you have some filters in your Google Analytics, you'll have to adjust that to slightly to make sure that the filter still works. But please note, if you do this, 
it does mean that people from your city are also excluded. In Google Analytics, click on admin and then find the all filters tab. So for example, here I have my IP. So now I would need to change this, the last three digits to just zero. Now all the traffic from this IP and anything in that city will also be excluded from your traffic. So be, just be careful with this setup. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos related to GA that I think you should watch next. Oh,